I'm Katrina and this is diet.com video and I'm going to show you what I usually do for my stretching routine after about a five minute warm up or after my cardio. Um, so I'm going to start with my hamstrings. If you're standing, I like to lift up my toe and lean down and stretch out that hamstring in the back. You should feel pull. You want to stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds on each muscle. And stretching prevents injury and it helps you get a better workout. So if you're going to do strength training, you definitely want to stretch before you do that. I'm going to go the other way. You never want to bounce. That was then, this is now. No bouncing. So now we're going to get the inner thighs. What I want you to do is just lean to the side. You feel a good stretch on one side. Don't let that knee drop over your toe and this leg is straight and your feet are facing forward. I'm just gonna lean down, feel a good stretch and hold it for a little longer than I did, 20 to 30 seconds. And after this one, I don't know why I did it because I already stretched out my hamstrings, but I always go down and touch the floor after. Probably because it feels good. And then I roll up, and I always go into quads. You want your knees in line with each other. Try not to bring your leg behind you and just push out your hip. So if you want more of a stretch, don't bring your leg behind you. Just put that, push the hip out and hold that. And then we're gonna switch. <laughs> this is a lot of balance, so you can hold your ear if you want. I used to do that in gym class. And then one that requires balance that I do, if you're not laying, because you can do this laying on your back, but you cross over one leg. I'm gonna go on an angle so you can see. You cross over one leg right above your knee and you sit back. And this stretches out the glute of the leg that's crossed over. And this is really good for the knee because when the, uh, the glute gets tight, you can pull on the knee actually. I always go into the other side. And for all you ladies, our hips are faced like this. And our IT band gets really tight and it can pull in your knees. So if you run or you do the elliptical or lunges, um, you wanna stretch out the uh, IT band. So this is the easiest way that I figured out how to explain how to do it. You wanna lean to the side, you're like, hey. <laughs> and then you step over and you lean in until you feel a good stretch in that hip. It should feel good. And then you go the other way. See, my, oh, <laughs> my hip cracked. <laughs> and that always helps. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna stretch out my shoulder so the rear delt is behind. You just cross over like this. And then you wanna switch. And then the triceps are tricky. You always wanna bring it above your head, behind your head. I'll show you. And you try to reach. Most people can go a little further than me. <laughs> and then you switch. And then to stretch out the upper back and a little bit of the lower back, you roll down kind of like a hamstring stretch and you grab the back of your calves. So I'm grabbing right here and you pull up so you get a good stretch in the upper traps and the lats in the middle of the rhomboids. And you roll up. And then the last one that I, I don't know why I do this last, but it's the calves. So you put one foot behind you. And to get the upper calf, which is called the gastroc, don't need to know that, but um, you want your back leg straight and you push your heel into the floor. And then to get the lower calf, which is the soleus, which gets sore from running or cardio, you just bend that back knee a little bit and push your heel into the floor. If you have a wall, you can push into the wall too. And then you switch, so you keep it straight, push your heel in, and then you bend it. Good. And one important stretch that I always leave out, so I'm working on trying to include this, is your chest. This 
and all these hearts, so I don't know why I don't do it, but you should. And I'll start doing it if you do. So you just bring your hands behind you. And this stretches out the biceps too. And that one helps bring the shoulders back. So you have good posture because if the chest gets too tight, then your shoulders like this. So I, I promise I'll do that one from now on. So that's it. I'm Katrina, and thank you for joining me for my stretching routine.